Hello. Today I am taking you on a Walk With Me podcast. I'm over at the Old Coast Guard Road. And what I am coming to talk to you about today is Uranus. It is retrograde. It's in Taurus and 14 degrees. The reason I'm bringing this to your attention is, well, myself, I have been experiencing, I've had, I had a rather difficult childhood. I had a lot of shocking things happen. And to me, Uranus is those uh, sudden and unexpected things, breakthroughs, and I have Sun conjunct Uranus. Where when Uranus is a, it's a huge part of my of my configuration. Um, but in this particular instance, it's for me been coming up as memories, things that I've been through in the past, things that are from the past. Just looking backwards at my childhood and and not really quite feeling some of the details as as they're unfolding. As I recognize that. As a child, I had no choice but to be resilient. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's this process of maybe being sensitive and aware of something that you found shocking and unsettling in the past that maybe no longer is really your story, but yet you're finding yourself kind of digging up the bones, okay? And we're going to have a full moon on the 20th of uh, September, and the full moon will be in Pisces where that is kind of an area of your chart where you put things to rest, you know, in the full moon. Maybe it would be a good time to go into offering your gratitude to put some of these these sensitive details to rest. I know for me, I've had a hard time sleeping at night. Um, I've had a hard time not getting mad about some things that really are long since past that even if somebody wanted to repair with me, they could not. You know, um, but 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 myself and my sister recounting uh, old stories. Well, retrograde. Just consider that things that you found shocking at a time where, in this case, in Taurus, where you you know it's about house and home and how things should have been and maybe were not, and maybe reliving some of that emotional. Uh, that emotional drama that maybe didn't get dealt with when you were at a time when you maybe needed to deal with it. So um, we're going to have full moon in Pisces, um, as I said, and that will be the 20th. And of course, you know, that is a time where you can go in and offer your gratitude for the things that you have been able to figure out and get right and move on with. And this place that we're at, this is the, old, like I said, Old Coast Guard Road. And it has some really, up here, you can see that it's got some um, homes. Someone came and bought these homes up and basically has renovated some of them. A lot of the grounds here, um, there's little pockets where it's unstable and there's some sinkholes and, or land is sinking. So it's... Uh, not everything is as, as solid as it, as it appears. Um, and of course, right here is the ocean, which is just beautiful. And we're going to be coming up on uh, whale season here pretty soon. So you'll be able to actually come to a spot like this and watch the whales from the shore. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, I must admit. Um, full moon in Pisces, that is going to be kind of a wet time, if you will. Um, because, you know, it's, uh, Pisces is water. It's in the sign of water. It's in the sign of, of institutions, final things, um, uh, you know, bringing things to a, to a kind of a, a closure, if you will, a time where you can kind of tune out. So, you know, maybe for some of us, this full moon in Pisces would be an excellent opportunity to bring those long and enduring uh, issues uh, from childhood to a close, and I, I sh surely hope so, because you know, it, 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 you being sensitive and, and feeling like things are just not the way you want them to be is not an, a comfortable having anxiety. It's not a comfortable emotion for anybody. And just because I'm an astrologer and I can read my chart and I can see what the what the issue is, it doesn't really help me feel any better when I'm tired at night because I didn't get a good night's rest. So. You know, that being said, you know, that's kind of the reality of it. You don't, nobody likes to feel like that, nobody. So, you know, do keep in mind that it is retrograde. So, um, and this is, this will pass in uh, January and largely where you're going to really be feeling it is, especially for those who had 
uncomfortable, shocking, and difficult childhoods and our sensitive souls. This is this particular 14 degree angle is particularly notable that you know this is like like we're like the the crayfish right that we have to kind of have a hardened shell but inside is a soft tender soul that that wants to feel good about things and doesn't want to have self-esteem issues so you know that that being that you know but that second house where where you're forming that relationship to um to objects, if you will, the the things that you want to have, um, you know, where you're exchanging the relationship with your mother from from zero to two to now three to to um, two to five, you know, where you're you're you have a teddy bear, you have a blankie, you know, and when things didn't go right in that stage of your life and you're now an adult and if you're asking yourself why do i feel so anxious what am i so uncomfortable about well look no further than uranus that is transiting in the in that in that second house at this time and here's kind of some these are the older buildings that weren't restored as you can see they're in pretty rough shape it doesn't take hawaii long at all to eat a home it is almost amazing you would think that you could have a home built here and like anywhere else in the world it would last forever and by the time you get a little bit of weather wind rain uh whatever else we have here it eats your roof your the wood in your house basically deteriorates so they use a they, a lot of the homes are constructed quite a bit differently than what they are um off island and i I'm, i don't want to use the terms because i get them wrong every time so i'm just going to call it off island um anyway here's the ocean and it is beautiful today i've been doing more walking as i'm recovering my doctor's got me on a and a process where we're meeting the needs of my body and and because i was so sick there was just not altogether the clarity that we needed to understand what I needed but I am doing quite a bit better these days and with that I am going to conclude and I thank you very much for joining myself today and if you would wouldn't mind hit the like share and subscribe and also if you get an opportunity look us up on www.twiggytwiggie.com where I am available to provide you a full range of services and have all of it listed on my website. And with that, I thank you for joining me here today.